Hockey goalies are a strange bunch. Patrick Waugh used to kiss his goalposts. Jacques Plante would knit in the locker room. Glenn Hall made it a point to throw up before games. Idaho Steelheads netminder Tyler Beskarowani isn't nearly as off-kilter as some of his contemporaries, but that doesn't mean life is easy as his team's last line of defense. Some people like to uh, consider us being the, uh, the quarterback of the team type of thing. In a football town like Boise, that's not necessarily a good thing. Just ask Joe Southwick. Steelheads netminder Tyler Beskarowani admits he's the first to get blamed for a loss and the last to get credit for a win. But that's life between the pipes, playing a position generally reserved for oddballs and eccentrics. I'm probably one of the uh, normal goalies. Well, as normal as a human being can be when he chooses to make a career out of being hit by speeding chunks of frozen rubber. The mindset of a goalie is, is real different, you know. We, it's, uh, it's one of those positions where you really have to focus and, and view your game before going on the ice. And, you know, you gotta, you gotta picture those big saves and the saves that you might have to make out there. That same penchant for predicting the unpredictable has made Besker Owani an integral piece of the Steelheads puzzle this season, especially after team MVP Josh Robinson was called up to the AHL after game five of the Colorado series. I had a chat with Ralphie uh, before these playoffs started and uh, we kind of chatted about, you know, dialing in and being ready to play. You know, you never know what, what could happen. And so I, I, was, I was ready from, from game one till, you know, to, to now, it's, nothing's changed. Tyler has made a career out of staying ready. He was drafted in his first year in juniors, traded to Kingston in the OHL, then came to Idaho for the first time in 2010. Number 30, Tyler Beskoroni. He spent all of last year in the AHL with Texas, but an influx of good goaltenders in the Stars system forced Besco back to Boise. You know, things didn't go the way uh, I wanted them to go, but, uh, you know, it, this year was a new year, and uh, I definitely grew from last year. Tyler doesn't know where he'll be when next season rolls around, but no matter which net he's minding, he'll be prepared. I think I, uh, I opened some eyes last year at camp, and uh, I got to do it again next year. Before Besco can think about the offseason, he and the Steelheads have got to worry about the rest of the Kelly Cup playoffs. Idaho will face Ontario in the Western Conference semifinals starting next Friday in Ontario. The series shifts to Boise for games 3, 4, and 5 beginning Wednesday the 24th.